Okay, so for this one, we have this uh, pyramid shape and we're trying to figure out the total surface area of the pyramid. I don't think, I think they left out the A in the pyramid word there. Anyway, um, okay, so how do we find it? Well, if we go to the formula sheet, there's no help, <laughs> right? Because here's, here's the exam three notes for pyramid, there's pyramid. It's got a volume formula. That's if you want to fill up the inside of the pyramid with water or something. Um, there's volume, but there's no surface area formula. You notice that? I'm holding out on you. I'm not giving you a surface area formula. Well, it's because you're just going to figure out the sides and add them up, right? See, see how I gave surface area formulas for all the shapes that have circles in them. So all the shapes that have circles, yes, there's a volume formula and there's also a surface area formula because you need that. You need a special surface area formula when the shape has circles. But for a pyramid or a prism or, or things like that where the sides are not rounded, they're just straight sides. They're just rectangles and triangles. In that case, you don't need a surface area formula because you just have to add up all the sides. They're all just rectangles and triangles. Just find all the sides and add them up. Whereas if the sides are rounded, you know, circles, then you need special surface area formula. You see the difference? So let's go back then. So all we have to do to find it, it sounds easy, but it's actually gonna be a little bit challenging. We have to add up the sides. So the surface area, which is what they want all the way around all the sides, we're gonna add up the three sides and the bottom, right? Four sides all together in this pyramid. We have three sides and then we have the bottom. So, okay, so we have to add all those up. How are we gonna do it? Well, let's, let's start with the sides because they're all the same. So um, let's, look, like, let's look right here at the front. Okay, so the front triangle, uh, you know the area of a triangle is a half times base times height, right? So that triangle in the front. Um, now, what's the base and height? Well, this three is also here, all the way across, isn't it? Just like the three right here. How do I know? It says the base is an equilateral triangle. So for this one, now this isn't gonna be the case for every pyramid. We're gonna deal with some other pyramids, I think next time, more advanced pyramids. But for this pyramid, well, this is actually kind of an advanced one itself. Um, the base is an equilateral triangle. So that means all three sides here are the same. They're all three. You tracking with me? The base is an equilateral triangle. So all three sides must be the same. So that is the base and the height is the 10. See the height right here going straight down at 90 degrees to the base. So that for sure is the height. Height is always uh, hitting the base at a right angle. So, okay. So then we just go, it's a half times the base, which is three times the height, which is 10. That's 15, half of 30, 15. So that's the front triangle. And then notice we just have three of those. Three sides is three times 15, isn't it? Three sides, all three are the same 15. Are we good with that? All three sides are the same. They're all going to have a, right, because the equilateral triangle. So, you know, this right side, this left side, it's all the same. So we got the front, we got the right, we got the left. Well, here, yeah. In fact, why don't I just, it doesn't matter how you write that, but I'll just say the right triangle, the left triangle. the uh, left triangle. Also 15. They are the same. 
You get there? So we get this triangle over here on the left. We get triangle over here on the right. They're all the same, all the sides, 50, 50, 50. Now, the real trick now is the base. That's going to be the hard part. Let's go do that. So now the, uh, the base triangle, what's that? Let's draw that right here. Right, let me write that first up. So the, the base or the bottom triangle is, notice what it says. Let me, um, yeah, I wanna, I wanna draw it. Where we have a little more room. A little too big. Okay, so the base or bottom triangle, let's bring it down right here. So this is the base, this is the bottom. What is it? Well, it's three all the way across, three. And three, right? It's equilateral triangle. So it's right here, base equilateral triangle, three by three by three. So what's the area? Well, the area of the base or the bottom, well, it's a triangle. So it's a half times base times height. That's the formula for the area of any triangle. The trick is we don't know the, the height. So what are we going to do? You got to bring the height straight down at 90 degrees, don't you? That's the height. Everybody see that? That's the height. It's got to, the height has got to be from the tip top straight down to the base. And this is the base, which is three. So we don't know the height. So first we have to find H. First we have to find the height. We don't know the height. How are we going to find the height? Well, to find the height, we're going to have to deal with just the right triangle. Right there. That has H, 90 degree angle. The track, this is the part that's tricky for people here right and what what's this going to be well this is going to be 1.5 and 1.5 because it's half of three isn't it half of three dollars is a dollar fifty let me pause right there for a second is everybody seeing what i'm doing to find h I, i'm going to use only half of this thing To find H, use only half. Why? Why am I using only half? Um, because it is now a right triangle, right? If you use the right half, you've got a right triangle. If you use the whole thing, the whole thing is not a right triangle, is it? The whole triangle is not a right triangle. Now, why do I care to make a right triangle? Because I want to do the Pythag. You tracking with me? I want to say, I want to say A squared. Let me scoot this over. That's I'll do it. Um, let me get right here, yeah. A squared. Oh, sorry, I keep changing my mind. Move it down just a little bit. A squared plus B squared is C squared. This is A. This is B. This is C. So 1.5 squared plus what? The height squared equals three squared. Everybody see that? Everybody see what's happened? So I brought this height straight down. Height has to be straight down to the base at 90 degrees. 
breaking the three into two equal parts. Half of three dollars is a dollar fifty, right? One point five on each side. And then I brought over just the the right half, or you could have done the left half. It doesn't matter. Why? Because you need a ninety degree angle triangle, a right triangle. Then you can solve for h. So hit the buttons on your calculator. You'll get two point two five. Plus h squared is nine. Um, subtract two point two five and cancels. We've actually done this before. It was on the last exam. Remember, we actually had an equilateral triangle. Six point seven five, and then last step, square root it. Oops. Try that a little cleaner. Square root it, square root it, and h will equal, I don't know, whatever my calculator says, square root of 6.75. I'm getting um, 2.5981. So there's my height. I'm just using four decimals because they didn't tell me how many decimals. So there's my height. All that work is to first find the height. Now we can go back, take that height, go back here. This is a half times the base. Now the base is three and the height is 2.5981. So if you do that, hit the buttons on your calculator. I'm getting 3.8971. There's the area of the base. And then we can add that and we'll give it all. Let me hold on for just a second. I know this can often be confusing right here. People, people get confused. go, Mr. Wayman, why is the base three? I thought it was 1.5. No, no, no. Remember this 1.5 was when I only used half of the entire triangle. I just did that temporarily to find H. Why? Why did I do that? Well, because I had to had to make it into a right triangle, which means you have to use only half of it. The whole thing is an equilateral triangle. It's not a right triangle. So I have to use just half of it. So I have a right triangle so I can find H using A squared plus B squared is C squared because you can't use A squared plus B squared is C squared unless you have a right triangle. So I had to break it in half, use just half of it. 1.5 is only half of the base. It's not the whole base. The whole base is really three. It says it right here, base is three. So the whole base is really three. I just used half of it temporarily to find H. Once I got H, I went back to the whole base. One half times the whole base of three times the height. There it is. There's the area of the base, the whole entire equilateral triangle that's on the ground, the base equilateral triangle. And now we can add up all those numbers. So the um, I'll just squeeze it in right here. And I'll say the total, total surface area is 15 plus 15 plus 15 plus the 3.8971, right? Just have to add those, add those up because that's the three sides and now the bottom. And I'm getting a total of 48.8971. 48.8971. There it is. So that's a pretty tricky one. We had to, we had to find the three triangle sides. And that was pretty easy. Just half base times half height, half three times 10. Those three were the same. And then the hard part was the bottom which was an equilateral triangle, which we actually did on the last exam. So you take it and you have to break it in half, find the height using the A squared, B squared, C squared, and then a half base times height, get the area at the bottom, and then add them all up. There we go.